This is the Ammonite graveyard through to the west of Lyme Regis. I'm going to take you on a walk out towards Seaton looking for the fossil ammonites on these large ammonite slabs as we go. So if you follow me along here you'll see some lovely ammonites from the Jurassic Age all eroding down with the attrition of the sand and sea. This is a great place to visit at low tide but you can see the sea is damaging this uh, layer of limestone. All these cracks here running along and then opening up the big slabs of the ammonite graveyard pulling apart from the ammonites on it. So a bit earlier today I was uh, at the ammonite pavement. I'm walking west of Lyme Regis as it's a low tide but the tide's starting to come in now so I better get on with the day and uh, show you some of the different aspects to this beach through to the west walking along the shingle embankment there's a lovely waterfall up here a moss waterfall with really pure fresh water coming down through the place So I won't go much further than this today. Then I'll show you some clips of other areas along the coast where the ammonite pavements exist. Some nice spots where you'll see lovely ammonites, thousands of them on these limestone layers. I'm just gonna take you a bit further down the beach. There's a nice block on the area just down here quite a stable area but the cliffs are liable to fall suddenly without warning so it's best to stay away from the dangerous cliffs if you can. There's a nice block full of oyster shells and there are a few oyster shell pavements on the beach where you can walk across all these devil's toenails they like to nickname these fossils from the Jurassic. So I'll show you a few more clips of uh, the ammonite areas further west on different days. I have filmed all these sections along this coast, walking out to them and uh, seeing what I can find on the beach. Here I am walking along an ammonite pavement down to the sea's edge. You could see that first initial large ammonite had been picked around by someone thinking they could actually get it off the limestone pavement. But uh, these places are special and nice to see eroding away. Geologically speaking, they'll be eroded away very quickly. The sea's actions with the sand and the sea and the rocks pounding against the surfaces take away the ammonites. So here's a big individual ammonite on top of the rock the sea hitting it at tremendous force. That specimen there is called Eretites bucklandi, a beautiful Jurassic Age ammonite. The fossils you find along the Jurassic coast are liable to be broken up by the sea's actions. You get ammonites and nautilus as well on these limestone pavements. And just as I step down here, you see a nautilus, a nautilus fossil eroding away you can see the calcite structure inside the specimen. I head down along this stretch of the coastline when the tide's really low. It's good to find the fossils here at low tide, the sea doing the work for you.